Hi everyone, JB here and welcome back to The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Since the previous episode, I've made some more changes to my equipment. Estelle now has the power rod, armor vest, spikes and a silver earring. Joshua, on the other hand, has the kunai vest, spikes, silver earring and the white bracelet as well. Silver earrings give us protection against poison and we'll need that in an upcoming area. But for the meantime, what we're going to do is head over to the mayor's residence to look at this request of his. Mayor's residence is to the east of Roland. You just need to go inside. And we'll get a scene. Do you think the mayor's even in today? Being as busy as he is, I'm sure there's a pretty good chance that he's out. Well, bless my soul, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. Hi, Mayor Klaus. I hope we're not disturbing you, sir, but we've come on, come on behalf of the Bracer Guild about a job you requested. Yes, I heard from the Guild that the two of you will be coming. So, you're taking over your father's work while he's away, are you? Yeah, um, Mayor Class has a portrait, therefore he is a recurring character, or a somewhat important character. Well, we're trying to at least. I'm very sorry about my dad reneging on his promise like this. There's no need to, for apologies. Knowing your father, it's typical for him to be swamped with work like this. Anyway, with Lita and my wife out and about, I'd like to move this conversation somewhere else. Why don't we head upstairs to my study and go over the details? So, I don't think you'll find this request particularly difficult. And it's for that reason I think that asking the guild to do this job may have been a bit presumptuous. Unfortunately, I'm unable to get away from my work, and I've had to break down and ask the guild for help. We were informed that this job involves the transport of a certain something, but what is it exactly that you would like us to carry and where? I would like you to pick up a septium crystal from the Malga mine and deliver it here. When you say septium, do you mean like sepith that we often come across? Accurately speaking, sepith is fragmented septium which is too small to be used as precious stones. Therefore, this sepith is refined and processed into quartz, which can be installed into ordnance. So that's the difference, huh? I think I've got a better grasp on things now. We've actually been able to obtain a certain kind of septium called Ismelas from the Malga mine since the olden days, Ismelas also being the tower. However, since a large piece of this crystal was recently discovered, I've asked the mine chief to hold on to it until someone can pick it up. So, you'd like us to pick up this crystal from the Mine Chief and bring it here, is that correct? Precisely. So, what do you think? Is this something you think you can handle? Ah, oh, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. The transport of a precious gem, huh? It'll be a nice change from fighting monsters. Should keep us on our toes, too. Alright, we'll do it. I appreciate your willingness to help. Please take this with you. And you get the Mayor's Furl. If you show this to one of the workers, they should let you into the mine. Good luck. Okay, and if you remember where we picked up the white bracelet and the firefly, firefly fungus, I'll meet you just before that at the junction. Okay, so here we are on the third screen of the Malga Trail. Uh, we are, as you can see, where the arrow is, and we're just going to keep on going north at this point. And as you can see, Joshua's taking a fair beating, but don't worry about it. Even if you get to the Malga Trail with so little HP, there is a recovery to the Maga Mine, so it should be there is a recovery point. I'm just going to ignore that monster, I think. Uh, there's no real need to fight it. So here we've got the Miner Chief. No, a Miner, sorry. Mine Chief's further down. Uh, this is the entrance to the Maga Mine. If you're not here on business, then I'll have to ask you to leave. Believe it or not, we are here on business. Roland's Mayor, Klaus, has asked that we come here and pick up a certain Septium Crystal. And we show Landan. Landan, the mayor's referral. Well, all right then. If you've got a referral from the mayor, then that's a different story. I don't mean to make your job any more difficult, but would you mind going inside and speaking with the boss directly? I'm supposed to stand watch out here. Sure, that's fine, but why the boss? We're actually here to see the mine chief. That mine chief you're talking about is actually our boss, Mr. Gaton. He manages the mine and all its workers. He's the kind of guy who enjoys discovering a septum load more than eating three meals a day. I'm fairly sure he's working down in the lower tunnels today. Thanks for the tip. We'll go see if we can locate him. And we can locate him. It's fairly easy to find him actually, but just a little bit tedious. So first thing we want to do is go over here and flip this switch here to the right. 
we want to then take the minecart to the next level. Uh, check it out, it's a minecart. Do you think it's powered by Orbunt too? It looks that way to me. How about we get in and see where it takes us? We will ride the minecart all the way to here. Don't worry about the other path, we'll go there in a bit. So, we want to examine the elevator. This is the elevator we're supposed to use to reach the lower tunnels, right? Why doesn't it work? Let me have a look. There's orbital energy running through it, but, it, but, it, but it, appears to be but it appears to be mechanically locked. Maybe we should ask someone about it. We should, and what we need to do is ride the minecart back. Now you can locate the guy directly, but you have to have examined the elevator first before you talk to the guy to give you the elevator key. So what we need to do is go back, flip that switch to the left, ride the minecart, and go back. It is tedious, but you know, this is what constitutes a puzzle in JRPGs. Talk to the miner here. Miles, great ideos. What are you guys doing down here? Are you friends with someone who works here in the mine? Not exactly. We've come to see the mine chief at the request of the mayor. Oh, so you hear about the crystal, are you? Well, if you're looking for the boss, he should be in the tunnels below. If you use the elevator at the end of the tracks on the opposite end of the mine, you can get down there. We found the elevator, but we didn't know how to make it run. Do you know how to operate it? Well, that's an easy problem to fix. All you need is a key to activate it. But since you don't have one of your own, I'll help you out by lending you mine. Borrowed the elevator key. Much appreciated. Once our business here is finished, we'll make sure to return it. Uh, well, we don't manually return it. It's automatically returned at the end. We're going to ride the minecart back to the original lever or lever. And then we're going to flip it back to the right and then ride the minecart again. And then we will activate the elevator. Estelle, try using that key we just dropped, borrowed. We should be able to get this elevator working this time. And we use the elevator key. It looks like we can use the elevator now. Thank you, Joshua. How about we head down into the lower tunnels? Yep, yeah, let's use the elevator. Nothing else on the top floor. I say top floor, there's only two floors. That and this basement level here. So what we want to do is go down here, cross the bridge. Use this recovery point because those monsters beat me up a fair amount on the marble trail. With that done, we want to keep on going. Now, the marble mine is interesting in the sense that you can actually rotate the camera. There are some where you can't. And we want to talk to this guy. Heaven and Earth, what are you kids like? What are two kids like you doing down here in the mine? You're the mine chief, right? Boy, am I glad to see you. We've been searching all over this dank place for you. We're with the Bracer Guild. We've come today on behalf of Mayor Klaus and handed over the Mayor's referral. Hmm, I see. So you kids are bracers, are you? That's quite a feat for being so young. Tee -hee. It's not that big a deal. By the way, you're supposed to have some sort of crystal for us, right? All right, give me a second. This little baby is something you don't see every day. Which is why I've been keeping it as close to myself as possible. The mine chief pulls a large grain crystal from his breast pocket. Wow! I've never seen a crystal this big before. That is impressive. There seems to be a light swirling around inside too. It's one of the several types of septium. Specifically, it's an Esmelis crystal which is endowed with the power of wind. For a gem of this size, you're looking at a hefty price tag. I'm talking about a small fortune here. Make absolutely sure that this gets to the mayor. R Roger that. See the septum crystal. It's so beautiful. It feels like I'm carrying a little fairy in my hand. Uh huh. This is super fun and totally unprofessional. Check this out, Joshua. That's nice and all, but. How about you stop horsing around? If you drop it, we could be in some real trouble. Fine, you big killjoy. Estelle put the crystal away in her pocket. Well, I guess that's that. We'll get out of your hair now, Mr. Gaton. 
But don't worry, we'll make sure this gets to the mayor. I'm counting on you, kids. Huh? What's the matter? That's odd. The airflow down here suddenly shifted. The airflow? The scent. It's... Whoa! Ah! Is... is it over? Was that an earthquake just now? No, it seems that there's been a cave-in somewhere within the mine. I wonder if one of the miners hit a patch of loose ground. I'd better check on the extent of the damage. Look out, uh, look out, Estelle. What? And indeed, we get three killer crabs. 202 health, uh, no infinities really, and we'll just die to being pummeled to death, really. It might take a while, but it's not the end of the world. There's nothing really special about these guys. Uh, in fact... Let's use morale. Come on. Now, just like uh, Luke and Pat, the kids earlier, the Mind Chief enters the game as an NPC. So if he dies, it's game over. But luckily he shouldn't die. Shouldn't die. He's quite quick as well, so he gets quite a lot of turns in, and... Once again, Joshua misses. Get used to Joshua missing a lot. His accuracy seems to be not great, unless you have, like, hit ports. Okay, and it looks like the status buffs have gone, but that should have been enough. Okay. Nearly done. All right. We rule. And there we go. That is that. Sorry for going a bit quiet there. Uh, uh, just, uh, something just came up, but there we go. Why? Why are there? Do you usually have problems with monsters like this? No, this is the first time I've ever had anything like this happen down here. Monsters have a predisposition which attracts them to the glow of Septium. So we've had a lot of them wander into the mine in the past, but judging from the situation, it may be that recent cave-in opened up a hole connected to a den of monsters. Indeed. Did you just say a den of monsters? It, it's not inconceivable. But this is no time to be standing around thinking about it. I've got to get the other workers out of here, and we need to help. If that's the case, then how about let's just help you out? You're kidding, right? Monster extermination is right up our alley, and besides, I love violence, and every minute counts. You're right, some extra help would be much appreciated. So how many miners are we looking at in total? There should be only a total of four miners working here in the lower tunnels. Got it, let's go find them. Sorry about all this. Alright, take these and use them if you need to. Received tier bomb times two. Nice. Uh, there's five miners, including my, uh, Mr. Gaston, to find. First of all, I want to get a preemptive and take this guy out. And this is the other formation that appears. Um, it's either two killer crabs or three. I think in all the, in all the uh, story battles, there's three killer crabs, but it could be two or three depending on random encounters. And look how quick. Mr. Gaston is. He gets his turn stupidly quickly. Yeah, these guys, we've got armor vests and spikes now, so these guys aren't exactly going to hit for much. Although Joshua seems to continue having trouble hitting. Estelle has no such problem. And there we go. Not done yet. Eight more experience, and that's that. Cool. So, there's another killer crab. Remember, the recovery point's just there. The next lot are here. Oh, Idios, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I don't think extend to us thy saving hand is next in the Lord's Prayer, but there we go. Hey, idiot. 
if you've got time to pray to the goddess and how about helping me take care of these creatures? Yeah, indeed, we need to kill the killer crabs. Okay, they're dealt with. Is everyone all right? We, we are now, thanks to you kids. This must also be the divine work of Adios. It's not. What a religious nut. If this was really the work of the goddess, then she wouldn't have allowed us to get into this mess in the first place. Exactly. It's because of unbelievers like you that unfortunate accidents like this happen. How about you try and say that again, buddy? Is this really the time or place for, the, for that kind of nonsense? Now get out of here. Right away, boss. You be careful too, boss. Yeah, he's just going to follow us instead. Now, Joshua took a fair beating, so I'm just going to quickly heal him up with uh, Estelle. There we go. There is a recovery point as well, but we don't exactly need to use it just yet. We now want to go east. D don't come any closer. I'm not trying to brag, but I'm all muscle, so I wouldn't make a tasty meal. Mine too. Uh, me too. I'm not delicious either. All this flab will be terrible for a monster's health. <laughs> anyway, round here. More killer crabs. Another day, another set of killer crabs killed. You're safe now, guys. Th thank you for coming when you did. Oh man, for a minute there, I thought I'd never be able to sit down for another meal. This is no time to feel relieved. We need to evacuate this place. Any more lollygagging, you're going to be sitting in the belly of one of these monsters. Yes, boss. Wait for me. Indeed. So, next thing we want to do is get to that recovery point. Uh, get past Killer Crab. In fact, let's kill it. Okay, Killer Crab killed and health recovered. Oh. Yeah, it turns out I spoke way too soon. I just got into a battle with three Killer Crabs and they... Killer Crabs can very rarely call for backup. And they call for backup on no less than three occasions. So I had to fight a total of six crabs. It was ridiculous. Anyway, we're not quite done yet. We've got the miner in training down here as well. Ah! Things weren't supposed to go like this. I don't want to die. I haven't even had a girlfriend yet. Help! What? We've still got another one down here? We'd better hurry and rescue him. Indeed. Another one bites the dust. Oh man, you, you kids saved my skin. Don't worry, you're safe now. A handful of monsters are no match for the likes of a bracer. Did you say braces? What are you doing in a place like this? Why, the suit of my boots, you're, you're the new recruit from yesterday. What on earth are you digging down here in the lower tunnels? I, uh, I was hoping to get a glimpse of how you, all you veteran miners work down here. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, definitely not suspicious at all. When suddenly the wall collapsed and a flood of monsters came in from the other side. So we've got to sell a veritable nest of monsters now, huh? Looks like you guessed right, kid. So it seems. The area up ahead is dangerous. It's swarming with monsters. Anyway, I'm out of here. Would you look at him run? He must have been really scared. I bet. Indeed, he must have been terrified. Anyway, that is it. Oh, we don't want to go that way. That's the monster den. Yeah. I didn't mean to prep prop that dialogue. It was a mistake. We actually want to go here, back to the elevator. We have rescued everybody. Did we find everybody? Yes, that should be everyone. All right, let's, then let's he get out of here. Stumbling over my words there. Are you all right, boss? I'm sure glad you're safe. You can thank these kids for that. By the way, is everyone accounted for? Yep, everyone's here. Well, except the new guy who took off like a bat out of hell. The poor guy must have wet himself scared. I see. Well, I hope it doesn't give up being on, on being a miner after this. Anyway, there's a high possibility that there are monsters still in the lower tunnels. There are, because we saw one. Until we can confirm that it's safe, I don't want anyone using the elevator, you hear me? Indeed. That was a huge miscalculation on my part. Yep, he's a dodgy one. I never expected monsters to show up to surface or braces to show up. I guess I just have to report the truth about everything that happened. Yeah. See ya. 
I apologise for getting you involved in more than your fair share of work today. I'll get in touch with the guild a little later on, make sure you two are, com are compensated fairly. Don't sweat it, we just did what anyone would have done in our position. And besides, it's all part of our training to become full-fledged bracers. By the way, what do you intend to do about the lower tunnels? I don't know, but we'll figure out some way to deal with it. There's always the option of sealing off the monster den with some explosives. Yeah, bombs are always the answer. Anyway, I may ask his guild for I may ask guild for help if you run into any other serious trouble. Sure, you can count on us, and we'll make sure this crystal gets to the mayor as intended. You did make sure you didn't drop it, right, Estelle? How rude! I'm not that careless. Look, it's right. You you didn't. You lost it. Psych! I've got it right here! Let's make- let's go make that delivery, shall we? You are unbelievable. Young lady, those are the kind of words that will give an old man like me a heart attack. Right, I'm gonna now head all the way back to the mayor's residence. I will see you there. Okay, and we are back at the mayor's residence. We just need to go in. And head up to the second floor. Into here. I see. I would never have imagined that the clock tower had such an anecdote to go with it. I'm totally blown away after hearing that. Yep, she's got a portrait, so she's a relatively important character. With with war, it's easy to speak of tragedy. But I think what's important is the strength to overcome the pain and establish peace. Well, who do we have here? We've come to deliver the object you requested. Um, did we catch you in the middle of something? Oh, Estelle and Joshua, you're no trouble at all. In fact, you've come at a good time. Let me introduce you to, our, to my guest. This is Josette. She's a student at the Genis Royal Academy. The Genis Royal Academy? I've never heard, I've heard of it before. It's a boarding school for higher education in the Ruan region, right? Yes, that's right. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Josette Ha. I'm Estelle. It's nice to meet you, Josette. You can call me Joshua. The two of them are actually bracers. I had asked them to do a personal job for me. Bracers? You mean the proud knights of freedom who love peace above all else and do not succumb to any power? Can you tell I'm totally ass kissing right now? This is such an inspiring moment. I never thought I'd run into any real bracers. The inspiring part sounds a little much. By the way, is it alright if I just call you Josette? Yes, please do. So why did you come to Roland? Are you a friend of the mayor's? No, today is actually the first time we've ever met. I'm researching the important cultural assets of each region as part of my independent studies. And although I thought he might be able, he, he might be busy, I've been lucky enough to get an audience with the mayor. You're really serious about your studies, aren't you? Maybe we're intruding a bit, huh? No, I've already asked the mayor enough questions. Instead, maybe it is I who am in the way. Don't be silly, it's not like that at all. Estelle, this is a great opportunity, so how about showing her what you've brought with you? Sure, hold on a second. Oh my word, that's septium, right? What a wonderful glow it gives off. Yes, and its size is impressive too. This is indeed a gift worthy of expressing the appreciation of all Roland citizens. A gift? Worthy of expressing our appreciation. I see. So this is a gift for the Queen's anniversary. You're sharp, Joshua. I intend to send an engraved ornament using this to the Queen. As a token of Roland Citizen's appreciation to Her Majesty, who will be turning 60 years old. So it's a present for the Queen. How delightful. We, as citizens of Labelle, owe Her Majesty a great debt for all she has done for us. In fact, the reason why we can use an airliner with such ease is because of the support of the royal family. I've even heard that the Bracer Guild in Labelle has received support from the royal family. We do owe her a great debt of gratitude. Wow, that's pretty amazing! And can you believe it, Joshua? We carried a present for the Queen with these very hands! And what's more, you ran around with it in those hands like a wild maniac. You weren't supposed to tell anyone! Ha ha. Ha ha ha. I wouldn't have imagined anything less from you, Estelle. 
you, you guys. Here you go, Mayor Klaus. It has been faithfully delivered. Gave the Setting Crystal to the Mayor. Thank you very much. And as a matter of precaution, Okay, it'll be safe in there. Now all that's left is to have Nelda's Orbal Factory finish up the engraving on its holdment. I can't wait to see what it'll look like when it's done. Don't hog it all to yourself when you do. Let me see it too when, it when it's finished, okay? It's too bad I won't be here to see it for myself. But today I was lucky enough to speak with the mayor and see something as beautiful as that. How shall I ever thank you? Don't mention it, this is all part of my job as the mayor. Thank you for everything, but I think it's time for me to say goodbye. I think we should be going ourselves. Agreed. Have a nice day, Mayor Klaus. Yourselves as well. So you're heading home tomorrow on the airliner, are you? Yes, that's right. School's about to begin. I see. So you use your school vacation time to come here. That's too bad. We could have made great friends. I hope we can meet again sometime. There's nothing I would like more. Please have a wonderful day, Estelle, Joshua. What a nice girl. For all, for looking like someone from a rich family, she wasn't snooty at all. Yeah. Joshua? Oh, could I be correct in assuming that she's your type? What? What are you talking about? You're blushing. I'm really surprised. I had no idea you are into the rich girl type. We'll have to get some pickup lines ready for the next time you meet. Quit getting all excited about nothing. Especially when you have no idea what others are thinking. Huh? Just never mind. Anyway, let's report to the guild. The next job we're doing for Dad will be the last one. Oh, right. All right, let's get pumped and knock this last one out. Indeed, we will. So next thing we're going to do is report to Ina to finish off this part of our jobs for Cassius. Let's talk to Ina. Good work. It looks like you ran into a bit of trouble at the mine though, huh? Huh? How'd you know? I got a call from the mine. They said they were incredibly grateful to the both of you. Now, how about you give me a report of what happened? Okay then, this is what happened. And you get received payment for Mayor Klaus's request. You get 4 BP and 1500 mirror, so you should have 32 BP at this point. Current rank is Junior Bracer, 8 class. It looks like you did much more than anyone was expecting from you. Dealing with unexpected accidents is also part of, a mi of our mission as Bracers. I hope to see more great things from you in the future. You just leave that to us, Star. Well, you don't have to worry about Estelle missing anything since her nose is always in something. Yeah, what he said. Hey, why are you saying that I'm super nosy like that? Because you are. Your skills lie in being direct, nosy and naive, right? Isn't that being a bit harsh, Joshua? Are you sure about that? Alright, that's enough, you two. Okay, this is the last of the jobs you'll be doing for Cassius. You've heard of the Bell News, right? You'll be cooperating with them to get some coverage for a news story. Isn't that the name of the news magazine we bought the other day? What are the chances of that happening? When you say cooperating with them to get some coverage, just what exactly does that entail? It seems that they're looking for a skilled guide because they want to get some shots of a dangerous place. You'll need to ask the reporters directly for the details. The reporter and cameraman from the news service are staying at the Hotel Roland. Here's the referral from the guild. Get another guild referral? Alright, how about we get over to the hotel and talk to these people? Good idea, let's go. I mean, we could do that. Or we could do some side quests. Quick look at the bulletin board. And we've got Lost Kitten. And we've got the Elise Highway Monster, which we'll do next time. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more. I've been JB. This has been The Legend of Heroes Trolls in the Sky. And I'll see you in the next one.